You ever notice how the fat cats with their expensive cars get all the tech toys first? But lately, we've been getting the last laugh, as all that tech trickles down to our cars and does so faster every year. I'm Brian Cooley with my top five car safety technologies that used to only protect rich guys, but now is keeping us alive too. We're going to rank these by a combination of how common they are and how commonly you will likely use them. Let's go. Number five is adaptive cruise control. Now this is the technology that doesn't just maintain your speed on the highway, but also the distance between you and the car ahead. It debuted in Japan on the high-end Mitsubishi Diamante in 1995. Didn't come to the US until 2000 on the Lexus LS430. Today it's fairly common. You'll find it on cars as affordable as the Mazda 6, even the Mitsubishi Outlander. And look for big growth here, largely because the same parts and software that make this system work also enable forward collision avoidance tech. It's kind of a twofer. Number four is the rear view camera. Go back to 1956 to find the first on the Buick Centurion, a show car, but there it was way back then. Then it just went away. We never saw one again until the early 2000s when LCDs began to show up in the dash and that gave the camera image a place to live. Today, almost all cars at least offer them, but they're still too often optional equipment, even on a Bentley Flying Spur. The feds have repeatedly balked in terms of making these required, and so they're still typically optional. Number three is the airbag. The 74 Olds Tornado was perhaps the first production car with what they then called the air cushion restraint system. Had a very low take rate, so it kind of drifted and went away. Then in 81, Mercedes put it front and center on the new S-Class, and you know their reputation for safety. By 1989, front airbags for the driver were required, and by 1998, across the front row. Today, you can hardly count the number of airbags in most cars. 10, 11, 12 is quite common. Number two, ABS, anti-lock brakes. March of 1969, ABS arrives on the Concorde. Then in 1970, Ford made it optional on the rear wheels of Continentals, and in 1971, Chrysler made it available on four wheels in the Imperial. The EU has required it on all cars since 2007, but get this, the US still doesn't. Some mumbo jumbo about how to accurately test its effectiveness. As of 2012, however, I think I stopped seeing any cars sold without it in the US, regardless of regulations. Before I get you to number one, here are a couple technologies that won't be that. Lane keep assist and blind spot monitoring. That's because, so far, insurance industry data shows rather tepid improvement in driver safety with those technologies. They just aren't making a big difference yet. The number one trickle-down safety tech has got to be ESC, Electronic Stability Control. It first shows up in really polished form on the big Mercedes and BMWs of 1987. Then, as of model year 2012, it's now required on all new cars in the U.S. Simply put, stability control is unbelievable. It reduces fatal rollovers by 70% and reduces all fatal crashes in cars by 14% and double that in SUVs. In many ways, it's kind of a cure for the lousy driver. For more technology like this, all about high-tech cars and modern driving, that's CNETOnCars.com. A lot of top fives await you there. I'm Brian Cooley. Thanks for watching.